So it is 9.22 on Wednesday, and I've been trying to work all day. Now, I did get, okay, so the design I was working on this says, you guys know, it stopped working. I finished this one which is inside out right now because i got to put the heat and bond on it. I finished this one on my Bravo out there. Um, now, the Bravo is still having a little bit of issue. I mean, it's not like horrible, but it's not perfect. Um, the first few designs I did on it, it looked pretty, pretty darn good. Um, and so I thought, we well, were doing good. But then I did something and it started to skip. Not a lot, just a little tiny bit, but still, you know. So I adjusted my um, tension a little more because I had turned it up previously a little bit because of what I said before. Like I thought because of the, the very first thing I stitched out, I thought, the tension might still be off and then I adjusted it and then it was fine. So I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I need to go a little bit down cause it was the first time I had it at 180 and then I turned it to two, like around 200. So now I turned it back down to 180. So, um, I think, uh, I think I'm going to check to make sure it's, um, you have tension bars, tension bars, tension cables that run, that operate everything, that make things, you know. So I'm going to check that. Um, you got to check them every so often just to make sure everything is lined up and level. And if it's not, it's like this cable and you stick this gauge on it and then you look at the gauge and the wire, you need to hang it on there. And the wire needs to be in between these little things on the gauge and if it's not then you either need to tighten or untighten well mostly it's tightened um but this affects like how it moves like back and forth in this way so i'm like wonder if something's off because it only seems to do it this way um trying to find something i've stitched out I did this apron on it. Um, I mean, overall, the, it looks good, except for I gotta trim some stuff on it. But I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Let's try to look at the bottom here. Yeah, you can tell a little bit. Um, here, yeah, you can see a little bit there and there. Yeah, you can really see it there. Ooh. It only looks like it from that angle. Like when you look directly on it, it don't look, I mean, it, when you look directly onto it, it almost looks shiny and flat. Maybe that's because I pressed it. Anyway, there's just a couple little areas. Um, now this is one I did on the other one. It looks fine. But, and I did this one on the, I mean, comparatively, can't I mean I can't really see that much of a of a difference just in a couple of areas anyway regardless I am going to check that cable on it but I think I fixed this one I have to get it back together um, so it got stuck and so I just um, I don't really know what I did. I did a bunch of stuff just to try to get it in between and then finally it started up and went zzz, zzz, zzz. so I think we're good. I gotta put it back together though. I love you, have fun.
excuse me? Here they go. Your daddy don't have his hair in a ponytail. I thought something looked different about him. How you drive it? Yeah, it's got some rim. Mm hmm Where are you going tomorrow? Where are you going? The beach. The beach? Yeah. But there's my man car. Wow. Uh oh. Let me see your shirt. Who's on your shirt? Got crayons on your shirt. I'm screaming. Oh, see it in there. I put my eye in there. Mm. Put my eye in there. Let's go look over here. Who's this, Jern? Oh, my Lanta. Jernie, look. Who is that? Human. It's that car. Whoa! Are those cool? And what's her name? I don't know. She's a wrestler. Yeah. That's all I got. Just these guys. Just because they're overstocked, though. Is Skeletor your favorite? Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So, after occupational therapy, we went to, um, of course, go get us a coffee. And I got some money out of the bank, and then we went to, I had a FedEx um, drop off, so we did that, and then we went to Walmart. Oh. But we're home, and I'm packaging orders. I just love this one. This is a, they ordered a 3T ruffle shirt for a one year old, which I've made 4T. I think 4T is probably the biggest size I've ever made for a one year old. No judge, cause Sterling was a big baby. <laughs> but dirty, it's not. <laughs> this, would be, this, this would be dirty size. Um, anyway, occupational th therapy was good. They want her to like, you know, use scissors and they send a little list of things to work with her, um, which I have tried, um, working with scissors with her before. She likes to use my little, you know, embroidery scissors, but I did buy her some school scissors. But she can't use them because her hands are too small. <laughs> the, you know, they have, you know, like regular scissors. I don't even have a pair right here that I can show you. I just have these. Well, you know how they'll have one little one and then this one's bigger. Well, that's how the school, like all the school scissors are, like for kids. Um, she needs like the teeny tiny ones, like you would find at school that were like metal and super small uh, that's what she needs I actually saw some on eBay but they were more than I wanted to pay for them I'm like I know there's got to be this somewhere so Jojo um, so I am packing new orders my husband will take these on his way to work and drop them off I have to work 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 today to get all of my orders out that are due to ship out tomorrow and then um, 
I won't be able to take Sunday off because I have several um, that need to ship out, including a rush order. So today I have to make two ribbon trims um, and the shirts to go with them, a regular tutu and a hair bow and the shirt to go with it. Um, I think there was like maybe two or three more shirts to make. I'm trying to think of everything on there. Anyway, so I'm just going to try focus on those for right now. Um, all three machines are working, but like I said, the Bravo still some bumps in the road. I mean. I keep looking at that apron I made yesterday. <laughs> it's not like horrible, you know what I mean? But like I was telling my husband, it's like, you know, I know how each one of these machines stitches now, you know what I mean? And it's not that his, like of course this one has really nice stitches. My Amaya, I've always loved the way it stitched out stuff. Um, and, oh, money, money, money. The, Ma the Amaya does 1,500 stitches per minute. The Amaya is like where this EMT-16X, whatever, it doesn't have a name yet. I can even name it. Um, it stitches, we'll go 1,500, but it, I don't ever see it reach 15, if that makes sense. So, but I have saw this one. This one's like, I almost feel like this one is like, like it doesn't fart around, so to speak. <laughs> it won't like, you know what I mean? Like if, you know, it's gonna trim and it's done and it's, it, it's very like, sh you know, to the point, like it's just gonna do it. Whereas this one, cause I noticed like, when you go to trim the thread, it's like, goes down, trims the thread, goes back up, make, you know, or the other one, this one's just like, like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it other than it's just like really fast in it. Like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So it does, this one does go faster than this one, <clears throat> even though they both, um, go 1,500 stitches a minute. <coughs> I got a frog. I don't know where it came from. Probably outside. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just going to cut it. What does it look on this side? <coughs> yeah, it's just cut. And then heat sealed. So... I'm going to cut and heat seal, and I, it is, look. <laughs> but it's just the very, very end of it. Like, let me see. Like, I can't even notice it. Like, it's not. I just got this frog in my throat. This is what I was talking about. It's got one of these. <sighs> in my lint. Sorry, Lily. Sorry I have to do this to you. Now, make this not noticeable. If I... Oh, pretty good. If I... had the time I'd remake it. If I had the time and another purple apron I'd remake it. Oh it was just it was just a smidgy. So now I'm going to chop this one and chop this one. Like I chop like that much off. Anyway, I have to package, and then I still have to pack. I haven't packed anything, but it's all right. It's all right. I don't think we're leaving like really, really early in the morning. Um, 
main reason is because we can't even check in until four o'clock and it's a four hour drive there so but we do want to get there you know in the afternoon and that way we can maybe see some sights or do something go out to lunch I'm so excited though. The ha the place we're staying at is supposed to be really nice. At least it looked like it online. Um, the it has windows like it's a corner, so it has a corner window. Um, I don't know if they ever stayed in a corner place before. By corner, I mean like the corner of the building. So like it has big windows this way and this way, so you can open them up and like they're dining room tables here and then that's like the beach and you know at least that's what it looks like from the photos I'm hoping I'm right so it was very very expensive but everything down there is very very expensive right now and I just don't I don't know if everyone's trying to recover from COVID like trying to make money back but it is like one of the highest prices we have ever paid I mean when we went with my sister um even when I went with Aunt T Aunt T it was like 300 and something for a weekend trip for a weekend stay this time it's triple or more than triple it's almost quadruple that I felt something in my foot so yeah it's a lot of money <clears throat> but luckily we're splitting it eight ways I say eight ways because we include the girls too because they're staying there you know what I mean and of course we're responsible for their share anyway I'm gonna continue this and package orders <laughs> 